Hello, in this second video we have set up our email account with Apple's mail program and I'm just going to run you through the interface. I'm going to uh, you know, show you where the buttons are and where to do stuff and how to kind of customize um, the arrangement a little bit and then in the next video we'll get into uh, writing emails and things like that. Okay. As with every uh, almost every window in the Mac operating system. You can click anywhere on this gray toolbar along the top and drag it around your screen. Along the top here we have a whole bunch of buttons. Uh, we call this the toolbar. You can tell mail to get new mail, delete messages, mark them as junk, reply forward, create new messages, notes and to-dos. And you also have a search field up here. Um, as an aside, the search field is just super handy, super duper useful. And splendiferous. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people forget that it's there. So, when they're looking for email, they'll, they'll click on their inbox and just browse through like a thousand emails. Um, don't forget about this search bar here. It really is useful and effective. On the left side, we have uh, what I call a source bar. It's going to list basically all of your mailboxes. You may be familiar with these by another name, such as folders. Um, but it's the same idea. In this program, they're just called mailboxes. So you can create mailboxes or folders here in this sidebar on the left side to, uh, to, to group your emails right by, by person. If you have a friend, Frank, that always sends you a bunch of emails and you do want to keep them, then you can create a mailbox here called Frank and add all of your emails from him into his folder. We'll get into how to do that in another video. Buttons along the bottom of this bar let you do all that stuff. So if you want to jump ahead and create new mailboxes, you can click on the plus button. Or the gear icon here lets you uh, modify the mailbox or whatever it is that you have selected by erasing it or renaming it or things like that. Okay. Uh, in this section in the middle, kind of, this is where it's going to list all of your emails. In my case, I only have one that I've written to myself to say hello to you. When you click on the email, it'll show up in this bottom half here. Okay, It'll have the usual information, who it's from, date, who it's to, etc., as well as the message shown here. Okay, uh, Just to customize the interface a little bit more, uh, you'll notice in the bottom right corner there are these three diagonal hash marks here. Click and drag on those to resize your window to make it however big or small you want. Um, you can also sometimes click on the green plus button up here and it will resize it or make it small again. Okay. So I'm going to choose kind of a middle ground and just make it about yay big. You can also drag this uh, source bar here. Um, put your cursor just over this line on the right side of the source bar and you'll see your mouse change to this kind of crosshair with arrows on it. Click and drag that left and right to resize. Uh, your mailbox window there, and you'll notice this um, dimple right here in the middle of this horizontal line. Click and drag that up and down to kind of change the proportion of how much of the email you're seeing. Okay. We're going to take a quick look at uh, the preferences for mail as well and how to set that up before we really jump into it. As with all other programs on the Mac, you can go to the top left corner where it says the name of the program. In my case, it says mail. Click on that. Go down to preferences. We'll open up your window here okay. with, what is this, nine tabs along the top that'll let you change just every conceivable preference about this mail program. So if you are new to mail, or even if you're not and you haven't looked here before, look through your mail preferences and uh, change some things. I'll just point out some kind of overarching important places to know about. Okay, For example, how often is it going to check for new messages? Okay, If mail is on, you can have it check every minute, every hour, or anything in between almost. Accounts here is going to of course list any email accounts that you have set up. You can have multiple email accounts uh, set up in mail. Click the plus button down here to um, create new accounts and check all of them in mail. Within your accounts um, tab here, and within each account, like within my Gmail account here, I have three different tabs here to modify how this account should behave. 
for example, my mailbox behaviors, I might not want it to permanently erase my trash. So I might change this here to say, never permanently erase my trash can. In, in, my, in my case, in real life, my personal preference is to never have it erase my trash because now I have thousands of email messages that go back for many years um, and they're all searchable and I can easily find any email that I've ever received. Uh, and usually you don't have to worry about that taking up too much space on your computer or for your email account. So just an example of how you might change some of these mailbox behaviors. Next we'll go to RSS feeds. Oops. Next we'll go to RSS feeds. Uh, again, this is just how frequently it'll check for updates. If you don't use mail for RSS feeds, this is irrelevant. If you don't know what RSS feeds are, check out our other video on RSS feeds. Everybody wants to know about junk mail, so if you click on your junk mail tab here, it'll let you sort that out. We're going to have a separate video on how to do this in detail. Uh, essentially, you'll want it turned on. To begin with, you'll probably want it mark as junk mail, but leave it in my inbox. After you've trained it some, you'll want to move it to a junk mailbox so that it's totally separate. Look through some of your other preferences here on how it's going to determine what's junk or not. Fonts and colors is fairly self-explanatory. I'll just point out what each of these is referring to here. You can change the fonts and the size and the colors for much of the stuff that you see in mail. When it says mailbox font right here, it's referring to these names in your source column on the left side. So Gmail, Inbox, and things like that. Message list font refers to this list right here where I have one message from training subject hello world. Uh, I could click select here on the right side to change the size or the font of, uh, of my message list. Message font refers of course to the actual text within the email messages that you send or receive. Note font refers to if you were to create a new note here. Um, and fixed width font is almost irrelevant. I, when you quote text from a previous email, you can have that colored here. If you don't know what that means, it really doesn't matter anyway. Uh, viewing, you probably won't want to change any of these, but this is how your, your messages are going to appear. Composing will, of course, give you preferences for how you compose new emails, like you could all automatically carbon copy yourself or you could check spelling as you type or after you're about to or when you're about to send it, things like that. Uh, signatures here uh, is where you can add new signatures to your emails by clicking this plus button right here. And rules lets you kind of automatically filter through stuff by coloring it or moving it to mess mailboxes automatically, um, things like this. Play around with it if you want. We are going to have a separate video on that. Um, if you didn't understand much of the stuff in the mail preferences, that's fine. It's not a big deal. Just kind of browse through, uh, change settings if you feel like it. it. It's not a big deal. Just a nice way to customize, okay? I believe that is it for the mail interface uh, for the most part. Next, we're going to learn how to write new emails.